So here we have another product rule example. And I wanted to go over an example that involved E and a trig function uh, just because people uh, seem to be intimidated and confused uh, whenever they see E or a trig function. But lo and behold, uh, this is just another typical uh, product rule example and is not that bad at all. So here we have the function uh, f of x is equal to e to the x uh, multiplied by the sine of x. And notice how we have two things being multiplied by each other. We have the e to the x being multiplied by the sine of x. Um, and like I said before, whenever you have two uh, functions of x or two things being multiplied by each other, uh, we have to use the product rule. So I'll label the e to the x as my first thing being multiplied, and I'll label my sine of x as the second thing being multiplied. And what I like to do when taking the derivative using the product rule is I like to make my first two parentheses, and then a plus sign, and then I like to make my second two parentheses, and using my formula that I wrote for you in the top right part of the screen, in the first parentheses, I'm going to put the derivative of the first thing being multiplied. And in the second parentheses, I'm going to put my second thing being multiplied. In the next parentheses, I'm going to put my first. And in the last parentheses, I'm going to put my derivative of the second. So now, to take the derivative, I just got to plug everything into the parentheses. I'm going to plug in the first parentheses the derivative of the first. Uh, since the first is just e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is also e to the x. In the second parentheses, I'm just going to put my second thing being multiplied. My second is sine of x. So I'm just going to copy that exactly the same way, sine of x. In the next parentheses, I'm going to put my first. Since my first is e to the x, I'm just going to copy it and put e to the x. And in the last parentheses, I'm going to put my derivative of the second. Uh, the second is sine of x. So the derivative of the sine of x is the cosine of x. And if you don't know how to take the derivative of an E function or a trig function, I do have a video uh, explaining derivatives of trig functions and E functions. Uh, so now we have taken the derivative uh, using the product rule. Um, so the only thing that we have to do is just simplify this as much as possible. So notice that we have two terms. We have e to the x multiplied by the sine of x, and we also have another term, e to the x multiplied by the cosine of x. And notice how both terms have an e to the x in common. So the only thing we can really do to simplify this is we can factor out an e to the x, since they both have an e to the x in common. So I'm going to factor out an e to the x. And the only thing I have left over in my first term is a sine of x. And the only thing that's left over in the second term is a cosine of x. And now we have simplified this as much as possible. There's nothing else we can do. Now we have completely taken the derivative of this function using the product rule. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.